In this video, we're going to review the different ways in which you can process a payment. I'll be giving you a step-by-step -step instruction on how to take payments from customers and ensure that the transaction is logged. The main topics we're going to cover in this video are how to accept cash payments, payments using a single card, payments using multiple cards, gift card transactions, and split tender payments where the customer is using more than one form of payment. So now that you have an idea of what will be covered, let's get started. The first method we're going to review is cash payments. So let's say you've already added products to the cart and the customer is ready to check out. The first thing you want to do is press payment in the upper right hand corner, then select cash and the section will expand displaying several buttons including quick buttons for 5, 10, 20, 50, 100 dollars. Below that, you have three buttons saying order amount, custom, and delete, and below that, you can see the cash tendered and the change that's owed to the customer. Since the customer is paying with exact change, you're going to select order amount, and as you can see, it says cash tendered 3944, which is the exact amount due. You can also see that the change says $0 as you do not owe the customer any money because they gave you exact change. But let's say the customer wants to pay with the 50 instead. All you have to do is press delete, select the $50 quick button, and now you can see cash tendered 50 and the change that is due to the customer is $10.56. Now let's say the customer is like, just kidding, I have $40, uh, give me back my 50. And so you hand the $50 back and all you have to do is press the delete button again and you can see cash tender says zero. Press custom and enter the custom amount of $40 and press enter. And now you can see it says cash tendered $40 and the change is now $0.56 as opposed to the previous amount. To establish how much change is owed to the customer, the next step is to press open drawer beneath change and your drawer will either automatically pop open or you will have to manually open it with a key. It all depends on the settings in the back end. You're going to hand the customer your change and then you're going to close the drawer. And before you can close this order, you have to press the confirm button in the upper right hand corner. If you do not press this button, the order will not be complete and the ticket will remain open and either your receipt will automatically print or you can press those two buttons below to email or print it. In this section, I'm going to show you how to take a credit card payment where the customer is only using one card to pay the entire bill. So let's say you've already added the products to the cart and the customer is ready to check out. The customer informs you that they want the entire bill on one card. You're going to go to payment in the upper right hand corner and then you're going to select credit card and that section will expand. The total amount due is 1381 so we're going to charge a card 1381. Press start transaction and depending on your settings a tip prompt may appear. The customer is going to select a tip amount, let's say $3, and then the customer is going to press OK. They're going to follow the prompts on the payment device to either tap, insert, or swipe their card, and then they'll be prompted to remove it. Once the customer is done, you must look for the, to the left of the pull button for a success message. Most people don't realize this, but error messages are good in the sense that it gives you a code or tells you exactly what the problem is. This will allow you to rectify the situation and assist the customer in processing their payment. Once the message says success, you must press confirm or the payment will not be complete and the ticket will remain open. This can disrupt your processes for the rest of the shift or day. Depending on your settings, the receipt will automatically print or you will have to manually select print or email. Next, let's review how to process payments on multiple cards that are evenly split. This is a super common experience, especially in restaurants where two or more patrons may be splitting the bill evenly amongst each other. The products have been added to the cart and the customer is ready to check out. The customer tells you that they and their friend want to split the bill right down the middle. Press payment in the upper right hand corner, select credit card, and the amounts next to due and charge should match. 
press custom and in the pop-up window you'll see a field that says enter custom amount and beneath that five quick buttons that allow you to split the bill two to six ways. Let's select half and press OK. And now you see that the amount due is still $32 but we're going to charge this card $16. As we did in the previous section, we're going to go ahead and press start transaction and the customer is going to enter a tip depending on the settings and then follow the prompts there and to swipe, insert or tap their card and they're going to wait for the prompt to remove their card and then we're going to look for that nice little success message next to the button pull. Remember you have to see that success message before you can continue on. Now you can see that the due amount says $16 and we're going to charge the next card $16 as well. Press start transaction. The customer is going to follow the temp prompt depending on the settings. You're going to swipe insert or tap their card. And they're going to wait for that confirmation to remove their card. And lastly, we want to look for that nice little success message next to the button pull. Once it says success, press confirm. Once again, if you do not press confirm, the transaction will not be complete and the ticket will remain open. Depending on your settings, the receipt will automatically print or you'll need to select print receipt or email receipt at the bottom of the screen. Now let's move on to the custom split payments involving multiple credit or debit cards. Keep in mind, this is just one of multiple ways that you can split a customer bill. We recommend using this method in situations like when a customer tells you to put a specific amount on one card and a different amount on another card. Let's get started. In this scenario, the customer tells you they want to put a specific amount on one card and the rest on another. Products have been added to the cart and the customer is ready to check out. You've informed the customer that their final total for today is $27.71. Let's press open on the ticket, then payment in the upper right hand corner, and then we're going to select credit cards. Next, press custom so we can enter the custom amount. The customer wants to put 20 on the first card, so we're going to enter 20 in the custom amount field, press OK, and then we're going to press start transaction. And you always want to make sure that the amount next to charge matches the amount that you entered in the custom field. The customer is going to follow the prompt possibly a tip prompt depending on your settings. They're going to tap, insert, or swipe their card in the terminal, and they're going to wait for that please remove prompt. And once they do that, it'll bring you back to this screen. And once again, we're looking for that success message next to pull. You're going to press start transaction to charge the remaining amount. Customer can choose to opt out of a tip. You're going to go ahead and put zero and confirm that. And then you're going to swipe, insert, or tap their card. You're going to wait for that please remove prompt. And once again, we have that nice little success message next to pull. Always keep an eye on the message that appears next to the pull button. When you get a success message, you will see that the amount next to do is zero. As required, press confirm in the upper right hand corner. And that is how you take card payments with custom amounts. Also keep in mind that you can break down the credit card payment in however many ways you need until the due amount reaches zero. Now let's get into gift cards. Gift cards are an awesome way to promote your brand and increase customer loyalty. On Acadia POS, you can use our own recommended gift cards, third party cards, or assign attributes like phone numbers to a customer for loyalty programs. In this section, we're going to focus on non third party gift cards. Prior to this video, we set up a gift card at the back end with the ID number of 1234. In this scenario, table number 2 is ready to check out and plans on paying with a gift card. Let's open the ticket on this table and press payment up top. Press open, press payment, and then we're going to press gift cards. Enter the ID number 1234 in the field and press collect. To confirm that the card went through, scroll down until you see gift card follow about the amount to be collected. You can manually enter the card number, scan a barcode, or swipe the card. Once you're done confirming that, press confirm.
If you look carefully at the receipt, you can see paid with gift card towards the center and the amount that was paid. The receipt will either automatically print or you will have to manually press print receipt or email receipt. If you want to check the balance of the gift card, enter the gift card number in the field and press check balance. A pop-up window will appear with the remaining balance on the card. Press anywhere outside of that window to return to the previous screen. Customer wants to pay $20 in cash, so let's press payment. Select cash, select $20 from the quick buttons, and open drawer. We're, we don't owe the customer any change, so we're going to go ahead and pop that 20 in and close the drawer. And now we're going to close that tab and we're going to select credit cards. And the amount due is $17.30 and that's exactly what we're going to charge to the card. Next, we're going to press start transaction and we're going to wait for that prompt to appear, whether it's a tip prompt or it's going to take us right to the payment prompt. So in this case, a tip prompt is going to appear. We're going to select a tip, let's say $3, press OK. Then the customer is going to swipe, insert, or tap their card and follow the prompt and wait for it, them to be instructed to remove the card. And once again, we get that success message. If you look towards the bottom, you can see that $20 has been paid in cash and the remaining on credit card. Press confirm and now the receipt will print automatically or you will press print receipt or email receipt. And that is how you take split tender payments. For more information, you can visit us at AcadiaPointOfSale.com, give us a call or email us at info at AcadiaPOS.com.